Hello and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to scrape Instagram profile data using the Data Fetcher extension and Rapid API. Although we'll be working with APIs, this tutorial is 100% no code. So Rapid API is an API marketplace that offers 14,000 plus public APIs. These APIs provide data on social media sites, finance, sports, e-commerce, and lots more. For this tutorial, we'll be using the Instagram Scraper API, but you can use the same approach to connect to any API from the Rapid API. API hub. So in order to connect Rapid API, we need to come back to our Airtable base. Here we're going to use the free data fetcher extension. So up in the top right hand corner, you'll see this extensions option, then select add an extension. Once this loads up, you'll have a search bar in the top right hand corner and you can search for data fetcher here, just like so. That will pop up, select the add button, select add extension, and now the following screen will load. Here you can either create a free data fetcher account or you can simply continue with Google. We'll arrive to the following screen and now it's time to import our data. So select create your first request, that big blue button, and we'll arrive to the following screen. Here we want to select the custom option from this drop down menu under application. And now we'll need to head back to Rapid API. So you'll need to sign up to Rapid API. You can do this by simply heading over to their website. Some APIs on Rapid API are free and some are paid. This Instagram scraper that we'll be using today is a paid one, although it has got a generous free tier offer that we can use for testing. So you'll want to come to this Instagram scraper pricing page and you can find that by heading back over to our data fetcher website where we have this exact blog topic with all of these live links to make this a little bit easier to find but you can also just navigate to here through the site by searching for Instagram scraper API. So we're going to go ahead and subscribe to the basic plan which is free simply by selecting that subscribe button. Select subscribe again and as you can see that subscription has been created successfully. Now we're going to head back to the Instagram Scraper API endpoints page just here from these tabs. And once you arrive here, we want to make sure that this info details and contacts is selected on the left hand side, just like so. Then under code snippets to the right hand side, you'll see this here. From this drop down menu, we want to change the type of code displayed to shell C URL, just like so. Now select copy code. And then back in our Airtable base, we are going to paste the curl command directly into this URL input box box, just like so. And under parameters, you can then simply change the username just here to the Instagram profile that you want to scrape. Now we're going to retitle this request. So I'm going to title this as fetch Instagram scrape, just like so. And then we're going to select save and run in the bottom right hand corner, select continue. And now we'll arrive to the response field mapping. This is where you select which Instagram fields from rapid API to import into Airtable. Select the deselect all button here just in this top right hand corner to deselect all of those fields, then use the find field search bar just over to the left hand side to find and select the following fields. We're going to search for biography, select that, follower count, just like so, following as well, and HD profile pick URL, info URL, just like so. You can also select any other fields that you want to scrape from Instagram into Airtable. Once you're happy, you can select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. And as you can see, these fields are now being created. Select show output table. And as you can see, the state Data has now been imported into your Airtable base. So you can run the request again to get the latest data available in the Instagram Scraper API and you won't need to set up the response field mapping every time. So it is amazing that we have scraped Instagram data into Airtable for one profile. But what if we want to fetch data for a list of Instagram profiles? So we can do this by creating a table reference in Data Fetcher. So in order to do this, we first have to rename the table's primary field, so this name field, to username simply by double clicking this and filling that in as username, just like so. Then we're going to populate it with some Instagram usernames, just like so. So now we're going to reopen our data fetcher extension by selecting that extensions option. And as you can see, this brings us right back to our request that we have already created. So we're going to open this up and under parameters, we want to now change out the username here and select the plus button. Here we can insert a reference to the table or variable. So we're going to want to select the table that you have created in your Airtable base. And from the field, we're going to select username, just like so. Now this will load and you can see those usernames appear here. We're going to select confirm. And this username parameter just here on the left hand side will now have a reference to the username field in Airtable. As you can see, this information has changed automatically to now read like so. Click save and run again in the bottom right hand corner, select continue. And as you can see, that request is now running for each of those Instagram profiles. Select show output 
output table, and you can see that information here now. So in this tutorial, we've learned that we can run any rapid API request by grabbing the curl command and importing it into data fetcher. This means that you can connect to any of the thousands of APIs on rapid API hub into Airtable without code. If you do want to scrape Instagram into Airtable automatically, you can also upgrade to a paid data fetcher plan and schedule the request. And if you'd like to learn how to do that, or if you just prefer to follow a blog tutorial, like I said before, we do have this full length blog on the datafetcher.com website where you can learn this way as well with all of the links to our other tutorials here. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn today. I really hope you have a good one.